our top stories this week. In New Jersey, the state adopts three new training courses to teach CPS agents how to defend themselves against violent attacks by the parents whose families they are fucking with. In Maine, the child protective industry forced vaccinations on a child who they snatched against the parents' wishes. And in Massachusetts, CPS agents are still complaining about their heavy caseloads. California state senators stall a bill that would help kids making the transition to adulthood after aging out of foster care. Los Angeles County Supervisors approved a plan to develop a new treatment facility that would allow foster kids to come and go while keeping out the pimps who prey on them. In Michigan, the convictions of dozens of people who are sitting in jail after being accused of shaking babies is being called into question after new possible reasons for the symptoms which led to the diagnosis came to light. And a new proposal to monitor all 48,000 homeschoolers in Michigan, all because one parent killed her kids, unfairly assumes guilt for everybody else. In South Carolina, wannabe foster care providers are complaining about the process and all the paperwork that it takes to become foster parents. In Norway, the child protective industry is under fire and is being accused on violating the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child after snatching thousands of kids who come from other countries. Adoption rates are plummeting in England while the number of stolen kids continues to rise. In Vermont, a lawyer is accusing the child protective industry of violations of due process by putting people's names on the child abuse registry and making it extremely difficult to get it off. In Pennsylvania, CPS agents go on strike amid a showdown over their contracts. And in Virginia, a new report is accusing Augusta County of ignoring dozens of calls to the child abuse hotline. Also in Virginia, a woman is facing second-degree murder charges for the death of a three-year-old foster child. In British Columbia, Canada, a young mother whose toddler was killed in foster care is happy that they're finally going to review the case, but says they should have done so two years ago. And in Texas, the family of a baby who died in foster care still can't get any answers about what happened. In Florida, a boy is suing a child welfare agency after being molested by a foster parent. And a court in Georgia summoned the Russian children's rights ombudsman to testify in the child sex abuse and murder case of an adopted Russian child. In Kentucky, the child protective industry snatched and will get to keep 10 kids who were taken because their parents lived off the grid. Minnesota is being accused of failing their stolen children by taking them out of the frying pan and throwing them into the fire by returning them to abusive parents too quickly, bouncing them from foster home to foster home, and not adopting them out nearly quickly enough. In Oregon, the court denies parental rights to the ex-lesbian partner of a mother of an artificially inseminated child, claiming that having a sexual relationship with someone does not automatically qualify one for parental rights to a child that's not biologically theirs. And finally, tonight, in England, two schoolgirls were snatched from their parents after they complained to their teachers about being grounded and being banned from watching TV. For these stories and all the latest dirt on the child protective industry, visit www.legallykidnapped.com. And until next week, this is Baby LK, over and out.